Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Morfides. I am a certified life coach and a wellness counselor. And I run this little channel and a counseling business called Mending Hearts Counseling. And today's video is going to be a tribute actually to all the masculines out there that helped me mend my own heart, mend my unhelpful core beliefs, mend my insecure attachment style, mend my abandonment issues, you name it. Today is Father's Day, so I also wanted to express my gratitude to, to all the masculine energies out there, to all the fathers out there that are fighting this battle every day of trying to be true providers for their family. I can only imagine what kind of weight that might have on a person's shoulder to make sure that they're their pillar for their family in all senses of the word, uh, emotional pillar, financial pillar, um, mental pillar, because as I understand it now to be, the masculine has a very important role in his family that he decides to create. They have this big responsibility if they are aware enough to know that it all stems from them. It stems from their strength, their courage, their knowing of how incredible they are. So if they don't have self-love, then they won't be able to be this love for you, the feminine, and anyone else that is in your family. So I really wanted to highlight the importance of that too, because just as we feminines are wounded and I needed all the masculines that have come into my life to to show me that I felt unworthy, that I felt not good enough, that I felt or and I felt these things because those were the core beliefs that I had acquired. So without these masculines coming in in my life and treating me the way that they did, and me having these uncomfortable feelings of uh, being left behind, uh, of feeling not good enough, feeling not worthy enough, uh, feeling that I was bound to be rejected. I would not have known that these are my core wounds that I needed to heal. These are my core wounds that I had signed up for in this lifetime to heal had it not been for the masculines that came into my life to show me just that challenge so and like i said i had my wounds to to heal and i don't want to diminish the fact that the masculines also have wounds that they need to battle as well so not only do they have to have this big huge responsibility of being a pillar in the household they also have their own wounds and their own traumas and their own attachment styles that they're trying to understand, um, uncover, process. So I just wanted to give my gratitude for that today and to send all my love and support to all the masculines out there, especially to the father of my children and to my father-in-law and to my own father. You were always doing the best that you could with the awareness that you have. And that's a really big statement. We all do the best that we can with the awareness that we have. So whether you're conscious or not quite there yet, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We all sign up for these lessons together. We all sign up to learn from each other. It's not like one person is bad and the other one is good. We literally make soul contracts with each other to learn, to understand who we are, to understand what we signed up for in this life to heal. And I heard this beautiful saying today in this most amazing meditation, which I will put in the description box below, that said, remember who you were before they told you what you are, before your childhood traumas, before you acquired that belief that you're not good enough. Remember who you were. And that actually did bring me to tears because remembering who we are when we decide to incarnate in life is pure unconditional love. We are whole and complete. We are just full of 
everything. We have everything that we need. And just slowly as we go through life, we just get chipped at by society or things that are said to us or situations and or circumstances and people. But nothing that we did not sign up for to experience, nothing that we're not strong enough to overcome, nothing that we cannot that we cannot beat. So if we all understand and know that we're in this together and masculine and feminines alike will trigger stuff from each other and just have the knowing that it is our responsibility to look from within to see why those challenges are being present in the first place so you can heal them. It's That would be all that I would ask for for everyone to experience in this life. So again, going back to Father's Day, giving gratitude to all, to all the masculines out there that have helped us feminines get to our fullest potential, get to where we feel good enough, we feel worthy enough, we feel just everything enough. I, yeah, I'm grateful and thankful as weird as that sounds that I would be grateful and thankful for all the tears and all the challenges and all the the healing that I had to do and all the tears and the endless nights of, yeah, beating myself up about like, why am I not enough? I am thankful and I wish for you to find your own healing, your own peace, your own masculinity, your own experience of who you are and what you mean to us and to the world and yeah happy father's day if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already to my channel please do so if you wanted to have a private session with me to understand perhaps if you're a masculine what is coming up for you or if you're a feminine and you're experiencing challenges with a specific masculine in your life right now i would love to help you decipher those, uncover those, process those, so you can live a more peaceful, more, more, yeah, more peaceful, more free life that we all deserve to have. And with that being said, I will see you next time.